Hello all. Welcome to part 26 of the Security Tube Metasploit Framework Expert course and certification. In this video, we will look at how a third party tool, which is the Social Engineering Toolkit, uh, can actually be used in conjunction with Metasploit. This video is part of the SMFE course and certification. If you would like to enroll and certify, please visit securitytube.net slash SMFE. Our certifications are currently being taken by students from over 30 plus countries around the world. And this video is made available free of charge to the community as part of our vision to provide quality yet free InfoSec education. Okay, coming back to the Social Engineering Toolkit. Uh, this toolkit does not focus on traditional bugs and exploits, right? Uh, like buffer overflows, format string vulnerabilities, you know, ROP and all of that stuff. But this does something very interesting. That is targets human stupidity and naiveness. So we all know that in an organization, you may have, of course, the technically brilliant and elite people who have full understanding of the do's and don'ts online. And at the same time, you may have people who probably barely get away with using their computer properly, right? So the social engineering toolkit targets human stupidity and breaks into machines using that. This was written by David Kennedy. Uh, you can go to secmaniac.com for more interesting things from David, including DerbyCon, which is a fantastic conference. Uh, why are we talking about the Social Engineers Toolkit or SCT here? Because internally, it uses Metasploits, uh, it uses Metasploit to actually go ahead and break in, which is all the exploits are packaged in such a way that in the end, you can get a Metapreter shell in most cases. This tool has tons of options, right? When you start, you have social engineering attacks, you have fast track, which is another tool with which you can quickly break in, bunch of other stuff. If you go to the social engineering attacks menu, you will find a lot of options. The one we will take up in this video is the Java applet attack under website attack vectors, right? Because this course is about Metasploit and not set, uh, I would probably show you one example and give you exercises to try other things out. I can assure you using set is extremely simple. David has built this thing almost to an extent where it is idiot proof. You cannot make mistakes with this tool, right? Fantastic job. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this tool. So we go into, if you're using backtrack, pen test exploit set, and inside that you can run set. We want social engineering attacks, and inside that website attack vectors, and then the first option, which is Java applet attack method, right? Which is again one. Uh, we'll actually go ahead and use website templates the IP address of our local system is 1.10 and let's just go ahead and use the Gmail template right and now we have an option to select the payload let's go ahead with the reverse TCP metapreter one which is option two and uh, in encoding let's use Shikataga 9 which is polymorphic ZOR Let's go with the default port listener of 443. In the meantime, let's also visit our victim machine, which is a Windows 7 machine. Note that this machine could be fully patched. The SET does not exploit any software vulnerability. What it exploits is the fact that a naive user would probably click through meaningful security warnings which software gives him uh, and end up executing stuff which may have his machine compromised, right? To be honest, this is where most of pen testing is headed. As systems get patched faster, as finding and exploiting bugs is getting more and more difficult, 
hackers, both white, black, and gray, are turning towards social engineering attacks to break into systems. Okay. So this takes a little bit of time for all the payloads and stuff to get generated. Again, in all fairness, I am running this in a VM with just 256 MB of RAM. Uh, so, you know, that kind of explains why it is pretty slow. Hope you guys are enjoying the course. Please leave your comments behind, regardless of whether you take the certification or not. I always love reading your comments. So please do that. Okay, so now we are encoding the payload uh, to get around the pesky AV. In this case, we aren't using an AV, but please note at times, just pure encoding may not successfully evade AV, right? As we've seen in a previous video. Now, OSX payloads, in case the victim machine is running OSX. And then what SET is going to do, which is the part we are interested in, is invoke Metasploit and set up the payload handler. Linux payloads as well. Just probably take some more time. Okay. So now we are going ahead and launching the MSF listener. And this is where the framework comes into picture. So this may take a few seconds. Actually, a few minutes. Also looks like my machine needs more RAM. I had gotten the 17 inch uh, 4 gig one uh, where the 4 gig official RAM upgrade was exorbitantly expensive. Uh, so I may have to get a RAM upgrade from some of the local RAM vendors which could be cheaper. Okay, this is taking longer than expected. That's why I'm kind of filling in all of the small talk. Okay, so now we have the payload handler which is up and running, right, uh, on this IP address. Let's go to the victim and let's go ahead and visit the attacker machine, right? This could be a link you received through Facebook or something else for all you know. Now, what should actually happen is that, uh, you know, we would get an alert for a Java applet. And as soon as we click OK to it, that would go ahead and execute on the victim's computer, execute the payload and eventually give us shell. So it says secure Java applet publisher unknown from 1.10. But the fact is most naive users, similar to the SSL warning, would probably just go ahead and click through this, right? And this is where all the problem starts. Let me go ahead, click on run. And if you notice in the background, we are already sending the stage and fantastic, Metapreter session has been opened, right? So I could go ahead, connect to the Metapreter session. And as they say, game over, right? So this is how even if your computer is fully patched, the software is fully patched, it is extremely easy for a hacker to use social engineering attacks, fool gullible users in your enterprise and go ahead and break into systems, right? So coming back to our presentation, I think that's all I had in mind for this video. If you've noticed, using set is 
extremely easy and I would recommend you try out some of the other attacks. Uh, the tab nabbing one is, is interesting and uh, one of the other interesting ones probably is the the browser exploit one which I've seen we have seen and a code signing certificate right so try them out as I said this course is about Metasploit and not set but set is a fantastic tool and it in my mind complements what Metasploit offers right so because this looks at a whole family of attacks which traditionally uh, you know, do not belong to the whole software exploit category, which is different from what Metasploit deals with. Anyway, so hope you enjoyed uh, this video. This is part of the Security Tube Metasploit Framework Expert course and certification. Please visit securitytube.net/smfe if you would like to enroll or like more details. Thank you.